The government is obviously very careful about who can practice medicine and what qualifications they need. In this case, 15 different doctors had applied for approval to practice as general practitioners. The legislation established an eligibility committee which would certify that a person was eligible to practice as a general practitioner. The enactment said that when making this decision, the eligibility committee must a have regard to the criteria published by the RACGP, the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners, relating to eligibility for registration, and b then proceed to consider the case on its merits. The college published criteria. Once a person satisfied just one of those criteria, the committee would then consider the application on its merits. But if none were satisfied, then the application would be refused. One criterion was that the doctor would be eligible if they had spent five years in practice as a GP for at least two sessions a week. The committee made a range of errors in relation to this criterion. For example, the committee failed to consider experience in other countries. An example here is Dr. William Chun Wong, who had spent more than five years in general practice in Hong Kong, but this time was not considered. A second issue was that even if none of the criteria were satisfied, the committee was still supposed to consider each application on its merits. The committee was given a discretion by the parliament, and it was not acceptable for them to substitute the criteria for their discretion. So even if someone didn't meet any of the criteria, if nevertheless their practice was predominantly general practice and it was appropriate for them to be registered, they should have been registered. Justice O'Loughlin said the decision maker must have regard to the criteria. However, they are not exhaustive. The decision maker must make a determination, not merely by having regard to the criteria, but by having further regard to the individual merits of each case. In my opinion, this means that there could be a practitioner who, by virtue of the merits of his or her application, warrants certification, even though he or she is unable to meet any one of the six listed criteria. This case reinforces that a decision maker with a discretionary power cannot just abandon the responsibility of that discretion by inflexibly applying a policy, a rule, or a criterion. Mm -hmm.